Another topic I wanted to discuss was cervical cancer and cervical cancer screening. The United States Preventive Services Task Force, or USPSTF, gives a grade A recommendation for cervical cancer screening every three years with a pap smear for all women aged 21 to 29 years old and recommends pap smear screening with high-risk HPV co-testing every five years in women 30 to 65 years old, with an important but uncommon caveat that certain people with increased risk might require more frequent screening. I feel very strongly about this, as cervical cancer can be really, truly terrible if left untreated, and can absolutely be fatal. It's one of those cancers that can progress really far without being noticed if it's not being screened for, as it can progress steadily for many years without any obvious symptoms. When I think of risk factors for cervical cancer, two things immediately come to mind, smoking and HPV. Smoking, of course, is a risk factor for all kinds of cancers. I know it's useless to say, please don't smoke, but for those who don't smoke, please just don't start smoking. For those who do already smoke, please ask your doctor for help to quit. It will improve almost every aspect of your health, 